like Leaf fans, we, we got to be honest with ourselves. If a Leaf did what Ridley Gregg did, we would acknowledge one thing. Lol, shouldn't have done that. Also, lol, that was awesome. Oh, I, yeah. You, you know what I saw? And th there's just no answer to this. Mm -hmm. The comparisons to the Jose Bautista bat flip. With, where uh, Runet Odor punched him in the face the next year? Well, that was the next year. And, like, I know you can't, someone flips their bat, you can't run up the bases and go punch him in the face. I know they're two different sports. But, like, you can't think. <laughs> I mean, you one, can. I mean, you can. We've seen it. Yeah. Pretty rare, but we've seen it. But, like, you know, and, and like, th there are certain moments, like hitting a three mm -hmm. late in a blowout game in basketball. And there are things you can do that are deemed disrespectful. Hockey's the only one where you can count on someone trying to kick your ass after. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Right. So I, I guess, I guess what I want Sens fans to do, what I want them to be more reasonable on is this reaction didn't fall out of the sky. Oh yeah. They're acting like Ridley Gregg, who is a, what do you mean? Like innocent, sweet, pure little Ridley Gregg, who is by the way, embraced his heel role perfectly. Oh, great. Great. Keep doing it. Great. Like I love, great. I love that. And if he was a leaf, I would love that guy. Of and course I would love I would. that kind of chicken shit stuff Fucking because right. it works. Of course I would. But don't let, like, don't, don't, where did that come don't from? Don't condescend to me. Yeah, we know what type of player. Those are just, those are just fans defending their team. Like I don't, I don't. And that's get, fine. Yeah, that, that's why I'm like you can't fault them. No, it's not just fans though. There are there are media members today in yeah, Ottawa media who are like, <gasps> oh, media oh, members around, who are fans of the Ottawa the Senators. Sorry, media members who are fans of the Ottawa Senators. Yeah. Okay. Oh no! Oh shit, no, they're all. Oh, in me, hey fans, <laughs> media or not fans? Whoa, Jesse. Uh, uh, and by the way, Greg is on the ice today and he's perfectly fine. Oh, yeah, good. Fine. I he thought he had died. So, yeah. so Mor Morgan Riley uh, will get a few less games for that. <laughs> he, uh, Ridley Greg, by the way, listener of the SDP. Is he? Yeah, he pretended he died. Oh, yeah. This, that's the advice I've been given. It's, and you know what? It works. It totally works. Fucking right, it works. Um, like he got to stick to the face. He got to. He's stick allowed. To he's the, allowed to fall down to the ground. Yeah, and stay there like he's dead. Like I listen. Let me say the thing that all Sens fans want to hear a Leaf fan say: Riley shouldn't have done that. He should have done something. Anyone who's ever watched the sport mm -hmm. since it's been around from like the Red Dead Redemption eighteen hundred times knew something was coming. Mm -hmm. Is it hilarious that he did that? Yes. Objectively, that's hilarious and awesome that he did that. As a Leaf fan, that made it... The fact that it's hilarious and awesome is why we're mad. <laughs> that's why we're mad. That's how that works. It's weird how you got to explain everything from the beginning. Yeah. The fact that it was hilarious and awesome is why we're mad. But it's hockey, and Morgan Riley's reaction did not fall out of the sky. That has always been what's coming. Also, imagine the stories. Uh, imagine how much more shit this team would be taking today had they done nothing. Oh, right. Oh my God. Well, it would be Boston again from earlier in the right. season. Yeah, and they would have learned nothing. Let me. I think. It, I think it's interesting that. You started this by saying in the LFR, you kind of focused on the wrong thing. And then we spent like 14 minutes talking about like everything surrounding the Leafs and how we got to that moment and not the the moment itself. Because I think there's there's a lot of backstory to it. <coughs> there is. Sorry, I joked. Um, <laughs> so, right, so Just like the Leafs in tough yeah, games. Hey, yeah. wait, hey. whoa. Uh, we've been doing a show together but, for way too long. <laughs> but uh, you go to the, you go to the incident itself, and on its surface, it, its surface, it makes sense for both guys. You know, both guys were were doing wrong things. Like Morgan Riley is fine if he just cross checks him a little lower. If it's not a cross check to the head, it's probably this a whole other. Or punches incident. him. Or punches him because that's fine. Apparently, punching is not even frowned upon in hockey. Right. If you, if <laughs> it's you not even Upon. If you punch him in a way that's okay, then it's okay. <laughs> as long as you don't use a stick and fraction, really, Grig, as you guys outlined, is hilarious for doing that and all power to him for, for showing up the Leafs in the final seconds. But mm -hmm. there's going to be a reaction to that. And that makes sense. The reaction was just a poor reaction. I think both guys did their job. Both guys are right and wrong. Yeah. I Yes. Yes. Um, but 
they were right by their team and their fan base. Mm -hmm. Yes. Right? Yes. So Ridley, like, Leaf fans left the building that night furious. Good job well done. Mm -hmm. It's been, do you know how many years it's been since a Sens player properly did that? Like, like Chris Neal days. Yeah, right? like, oh, you're forgetting about blowing the 5 1. Nah. Man, like, that's just regular old blowing a hockey game. Where you old Leafs blowing a hockey game, too. That's, yeah. <laughs> that's not anything special about the Senators. Oh, I'm going to get chewed out. I've been chewed out before. Yeah. No, they're just blowing a lead. I've seen them blow a lead before. Like, I'm talking proper Battle of Ontario days. This was proper Battle of Ontario heat. And if Riley doesn't cross check him in the mouth, uh, we're not talking about the suspension or or any of that. Um, Riley, you're talking about them losing the game. Like, yeah, you're talking about we're talking. If if the whole incident doesn't come away with something that's going to lead to a suspension, we're just talking about the Leafs losing and mm -hmm. like, ah, oh, can this team make the playoffs? You know, Tampa and Detroit are right there, and all this kind of stuff. You know, that's yep. what we're talking about today. Yep. I also like, look, think Tavares is at very least hugging someone for fuck's sake. Yeah, like, you you're a little bit exaggerating what them getting like punked post uh not punked, post post not scrum punked. because Tavares is the one who grabs the guy here. I can't show it fully, but if we go here, Tavares comes in and grabs uh his guy who was going Shabbat? to I don't know to the player and then Matthews and Tarasenko tie up because Matthews is the second guy into Tavares's guy and Tarasenko's like no Matthews I'm gonna grab you yeah but then he punches him in the face no he grabs him by the shoulders no nah, he punches you no know, <laughs> you're not watching it close enough Jesse he punches look at that no he grabs look at that so he has him by the collar and he shoves him what if it's a rabbit punch <laughs> so and then they and then they grab and they tussle so it's 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 not you can't describe it as the dude got punched in the face because on audio that sounds a lot more extreme than what it actually is right, visually. Well, who says you had to punch second? <laughs> Fucking. I'm just I'm just trying to be fair. Like, no, uh, well here's me trying to be fair. Uh, get a load of the temperature mm -hmm. on the ice. Get a load of the temperature in the building. Mm -hmm. Do something. Do something. Like. I don't know. I want to read the, this. The wanna... one, the one you described accurately is Mitch Marner has glided into the whole action. <laughs> That's not. There's nothing. What's on, going on? There's nothing fellas? untrue about that. <laughs> like, the... I mean, dude, he's such an incredible player. <laughs> And he's had such oh. an incredible run recently, but this is a that's a big part of the reason why a lot of this fan <laughs> fan base sees him score like a hundred points a year, and they just go fart. And they don't care. Look at that. <laughs> that's you that's wear sixteen. <laughs> you wear sixteen. Everybody else. Is well, at least to be fair, who was he going to grab? There was nobody else to grab. The other guy to grab was on the ground. Well, okay. You know what the Panthers never do. Go, they, they never, they go, never go. They never no. go man to man. There's Jeez. never anybody standing around. <laughs> the odds are stacked against them. I'm just gonna sit this one out. Yeah. No. What? What? No. Matthew Marner should Kuchuk. do is grab Tarasenko from behind Matthew and Kuchuk. just put him in a headlock. Yes. Yeah. He has his mouth guard sticking out of his mouth. Yeah. His expressionless psychopath face, and he just starts wailing on the smallest, most vulnerable person on the ice. That and and they're punished. They're punished though. The, the, and hey, their, no, their punishment Perry. every year is they're forced to play hockey longer than the Maple Leafs. Don't forget, George Peros was a Panther, and I don't care how bad he was with the Panthers and how short he was there. He was still a Panther. Adam, that started as a bit. Um, this hearing... <laughs> I don't care. Has he was a Panther, and he was a no, Canadian. <laughs> it started It started as a bit. Um, uh, George Peros absolutely has it out for the Leafs. Absolutely. So That's, that's the one conspiracy theory I'll subscribe to. The one pants-shitting thing I'll have as a big baby Leaf fan. George Peros is absolutely the anti Leaf. You, you, the, what? The one. The one. Yes, yeah. the one. <laughs> oh, yeah? <laughs> oh, yeah, the one time. Only one. Singular. Singular. I, I wanna, where are you going? I want to read this tweet because what was interesting about the situation is obviously the reaction to it. Obviously, you expect Leaf fans to react the way yeah. Leaf fans do, Sens fans to react the way Sens fans do. But I just, I saw certain members of the media who are diametrically opposed come together in some odd assortment of allyship. They hate the Leafs. Uh, no, no, actually, no, no. Uh, what are you talking about? Everybody who, um, 
who had any, anything to say. Like, like I, I look at Scott Wheeler. I knew he grew up. I know he grew up in the area, but he's not like a Leafs fan. I don't think he's a. He's just a guy who does the things. Like he does the the prospect things. But Scott Wheeler doesn't like rah 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 go for the Leafs. Mm-hmm. He was like, yeah, well, that's Ridley Gregg, and he mm-hmm. just got you to take the bait. Yeah, uh, and and Mark Spector. And I don't think Mark and Scott agree all the time. <laughs> but one of the things that that Mark Spector said was he said, um, I'm agnostic about this and I could care less about Riley's suspension. And he's like, whatever. But when I hear uh, him referred to as the, quote, unsuspecting Ridley Grigg, we enter a fantasy world. And oh, 100 yeah. percent. And he said he said he is not unsuspecting after that clapper. And and then you have. Uh, you have people on both sides going... Because it didn't fall out of the sky! All right. And this is my point. This is my point. It's, it's listen, if you're a Sens fan, like somebody somebody responded to him and was like, if I cut so, if I cut someone off at the grocery store, it's not the grocery store. Oh, shut up. It's not. It, this shut is a hockey up. game. This is what happens. And, and frankly, Ridley Grigg knew two things. And he's really smart to do this, by the yes. way. I'm complimenting him. Yes. A, the Leafs do nothing and they look chicken shit. Mm-hmm. B, they overreact and they get a suspension. And yep. LOL, I don't have to play them again. So I don't have to answer the bell. This is our last game That's against such them. such a good next year. Ridley Grigg doesn't have to do shit. Nah, That's... next year there's oh, still yeah. something. The Leafs will get them next year. No, yeah. no, no. But like next game, 100% they got it. Like we're going to be looking to forward to that. You know, now, it's going to be a Wednesday night. It's going to be awesome. Now, we're going to be looking forward to that. Who's going to be there? Morgan Riley. Morgan Riley, mm-hmm. all right. Ridley so Gregg. Their best defenseman uh, can get suspended again. Sounds good. No, no, no. On the Leafs. Morgan Riley's going to be there. Yeah. John Tavares is going to be there. Not going to do shit. Ryan Reeves will be there. He's oh, locked oh, up for, for oh, 80 great. years. Yeah, yeah I want to talk about that, by the way. Can't wait for sure. that. Yeah, fucking wheel him around the ice like a Civil War cannon. Mm-hmm. Uh, Matthews is going to be there. He's not going to do shit. Willie is going to be, gonna be yeah. there. He's not going to do shit. Marner's going to be there. He's not going to do shit. Oh, but Max don't... Oh, he'll probably be somewhere else. Mm-hmm. Well, Tyler... Bert- oh, he'll probably be somewhere else. Well, maybe Noah... Gr- well, he'll probably be somewhere else. Uh, Jake Mc- uh, Jake McCabe might be there. Okay, so, so you don't think they're going to do anything? No. I, th- I think they'll. Be, I think they will. I think the, there'll be some sort of fight. But it, but again, if you're Ridley Grigg, of evidence. if not, if you're Ridley Grigg, you don't care. Yeah, yeah. and it's yeah. not the drama that would happen if next Saturday Leafs and Sens play. Like it's, that's my be that even will be if, explosions, but it'll be a tussle. Even and, if they pay him back, they gotta wait like something like nine months. Yeah, that's a, and that's so. So let me let me say this. Um, what one of the things that I think goes completely untalked about is Keith does the right thing in hockey terms, uh, and he sends out Ryan Reeves for the last five seconds. <laughs> and and, the, you, and yeah. what does that do? Ryan didn't even grab anybody. The refs wouldn't allow it. Uh, he could have grabbed the guy. Just grab him. Nah, the, re- grab the him. refs were grabbing Ryan Reeves before. I think there was, ah, I think if Ryan Reeves tried so to fight somebody, what? it would have been a, a little bit of a dangerous issue. 